In this video, we're going to explain how to perform a copper certification test using the CyberWire Expert. Let us look what is available as a part of the standard Wire Expert kit. When you purchase a WX4500FA product line, you will find the following things in the kit. You will find a pair of instruments labeled as local and remote, a pair of channel adapters for performing channel testing, a pair of permanent link adapters and a pair of permanent link cords, a pair of headsets, a pair of chargeable AC adapters, a USB stick and a carry bag. With that in mind, let's proceed to the set reference configuration using WireExpert. When you power up the units, local and remote, you would land up in this screen, the information screen. For performing the set reference, we would need a CAT6A link adapter and a channel adapter and a permanent link cord. Once you have the permanent link adapter, plug in the permanent link cord and leave the RJ45 end open. In this video, we have already done that and we are plugging this adapter behind the wire expert. It does not matter you're plugging the permanent link adapter on the local or remote unit. It is exactly the same. So in this case, we are plugging the permanent link adapter on the local unit. We could have as well done it on the remote unit. Once you have done that, connect the permanent link cord between the local and the remote unit. Please make sure that you're not connecting any other link or anything else between the local and remote unit, but just the permanent link cord. If you connected anything else, the set reference would be wrong. And in most cases, the instrument would indicate an error that the set reference has failed. Once you have completed the connection, you can go into the tools menu on the local side. And once you go into the tools menu, you would see something called a set reference icon. Just click that button. The wire expert will carry out the set reference. And once the set reference is complete, you would see the success screen on both local and remote unit. Please note that set reference is not required to be performed every day. It is enough if you perform it once in a month. Once you have performed the set reference, let's move on to performing a channel test. In the case of a channel test, we will use channel adapters on both local and remote units. Unplug the permanent link adapters and connect a channel adapter. You would need two patch cords in the channel configuration. And in this case, uh, we have a sample link here, which is purple in color, which we are trying to test. Connect both the local and the remote unit to complete the connection. Once you have done that, you will hear a sound saying that the connection is complete. One of the most common questions from some of the installers that we hear is, are there separate adapters for category 5B and category 6? The answer is no. The standard kit ships with a pair of channel adapters and link adapters. These adapters are compatible for testing CAT5E, CAT6, and CAT6A if you are following the TIA standard. And if you are following the ISO standard, it would be class D, class E, and class EA. For performing tests beyond the class EA, including the class F and the class FA standard, and the upcoming TIA CAT 8 standard, you would need to purchase additional modules with the appropriate connectors according to the link that you're certifying. Now let's set up the limit to channel configuration. In this case, we are testing a CAT 6A channel. So I would go into my setup menu and click on the test settings, which is the leftmost. And I will choose my limit to TIA CAT 6A channel. Once I have selected my limit, my limit will show up appropriately and I will choose my cable manufacturer or the cable type to be a CAT 6A UTP. Please take note that if you are performing a shielded test, your cable type and the connector type should be shielded. If one of them is unshielded, WireExpert assumes the link to be unshielded and performs an unshielded test. Once you have finished the connection, hit the auto test button that's on the left bottom. It will take 9 seconds to do a CAT 6A test and 11 seconds if you have enabled the troubleshooting feature or the locator. And once the test is complete, you would see a summary screen telling you whether the test result is a pass or fail, the overall length of the link, and how the wire map configuration is. Let's take a closer look at the instrument to see how to navigate through the results screen. From the summary screen, if you want to move into a detailed screen, you can click on the respective uh, row. I'm going into the insertion loss screen and I can see my limit line is shown in red and all the four plots are shown in different colors. I can click on the worst margin to see which is my worst performing frequency. And I can also click on the worst plot to identify which of the four pairs is performing the worst. 
Next, I will move on to the neighbor and crosstalk. I can do the same thing, but I can look at the worst margin or I can look at the worst plot. And I can also navigate one plot at a time by clicking the next pair option. If you look at the menu, you can also notice that there is a local and remote radio buttons in the same screen. You can click, unclick appropriately to see either only the local or only the remote plots. Likewise, I would do so for other parameters such as power sum, next, and written loss. And if you wanted to look at all the parameters that are tested under TIA standard, then you can click on the search class to give you a detailed list of all the parameters that have been tested for the TIA CAT 6A channel limit. I can also go to the locator menu to troubleshoot my link. I can look at the TD next or TD RL or the TD written loss to identify where my fault lies. As a rule of thumb, I would look at the TD next plot if my near and cross stock is failing, and I would look at the TD RL plot if my written loss is failing. Now, once you have completed the test, you can click the save button on the right bottom corner and continue saving the test result. Now you can plug in your USB stick to export the test data into the USB stick and followed by downloading them into a PC software called the Report Expert. I hope this tutorial helps you in understanding how to perform a channel test and a set reference using Wire Expert. Do look at the other videos for using Wire Expert for different types of testing.